Hi Aries, uh, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 9th through the 31st tarot reading. Let's pull this out a little bit. This is the 9th through the 31st for the sign of Aries. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes out. Alright, so the first card is the Five of Swords. It looks like there's a little bit of tension right around the ninth, and maybe there's some tension or some conflicts in your life. Perhaps um, there's something going on that isn't um, that isn't good, put it that way. Um, maybe there's some slander or some, um, you know, some not so nice words going on. This is the eight, the ninth and tenth. It looks like maybe there's something going on. Maybe there's um, there's some challenges. That's for sure. There's something going on. It's about words. There's some words that are causing tension and conflict right around the um, ninth and tenth of August. But on the 11th, it looks like things are starting to smooth out and that um, things are starting to become peaceful again. So they, as fast as it comes, it, you know, it goes, which is great. So you go from conflict, tension, and maybe some petty arguments to peace. Okay, here we have something. This is, um, this is the judgment card. This is about some kind of awakening or breakthrough that has to do with um, something you've been waiting for something um, finally something is going to happen that you have been waiting for alright I have to go let the cat in because he will not stop until I let him in come on come on come on know how the cats are when you let them in a door they stand there and they look at it for a little while before they come in okay all right he's in he should be quiet now and we will get back to your reading so this one right here is um this is the three of wands this is preparation but still some challenges it looks like you have been waiting for something to happen and it is finally starting to happen okay Alright, so right around the um, 15th, 16th, it looks like you are feeling very set. You're feeling mat materialistically at ease. Perhaps um, you're not struggling for the moment uh, with money, you know. That's for the moment, okay. Now this may or may not resonate with everybody. Just keep in mind that we are all different and there's so many people that are watching this, okay. Um, so right around the 15th, 16th, you're feeling, you're feeling comfortable, all right, as far as money goes. Um, uh, soon after that, where I'm seeing some, um, some more conflicts, all right, so we have conflicts, then we have strength, then we have happiness, so it seems like it's a teeter-totter anyway, it looks like we have a teeter-totter here, because here we have conflicts and tension, um, maybe it's kind of like a little bit of a competition with somebody, 
Um, there's some, you know, the, some petty arguments going on. I talk with my hands, so we we'll have to deal with that. Um, anyway, there's some petty arguments going on. Then it moves to peace. Then you have some kind of awakening or breakthrough that pushes something forward that you've been waiting for. It does bring a lot of happiness, whatever this is, whatever breakthrough this is, brings a lot of happiness. And it comes from your strength. It looks like it's something that you have um, ma manifested or done on your own. You know, you have brought this to light. You've worked hard for something and it's finally coming. And it has to do with your perseverance, all right? Um, but here, before that, we have these conflicts again. And these are actual conflicts where you feel like, you know, it's more bickering, more fighting or whatever, more, um, it's like you're disgusted with somebody, you know what I mean? And that's just what it is. It's like you're disgusted with somebody. Okay. Um, after a period, period of feeling comfortable. So it's, it's like a teeter totter, teeter totter. Okay. Then we're moving on to the next week. This is getting closer towards the end of August. Okay. We have this unexpected choice coming in. <laughs> so this is an unexpected choice in love. Whereas you intended to go in one direction and this can be with a family member. It can be with a new lover. It can be with a current lover. It can be with a friend. I mean, it can be with anybody. <laughs> what it is, it's an unexpected choice in love or emotion where you expected to go one way and you decided to go another, okay? You expected to go one way, but the pull was so strong or your intuition said, you know, I really, I have to go in this direction, okay? That's what this card is. Either way, you do something. You get this unexpected choice. You make your decision. You go the decision. You go the way that you didn't think you were gonna go, and you feel very good about your decision. You feel this is proud. This is victory. This is recognition. This is self-respect. Okay. You feel good about what has what has transpired and what decision that you made, and it wasn't what you expected or maybe somebody else expected. Okay. It's something that you did um, because of the your intuition told you what to do, okay? Um, and here we have an, a new offer of love, okay? This is love that or a new offer of caring, kindness, emotional support that is coming in. And this is towards the end of August. It looks like there's some new um, love coming in after a period of... Um, bullshit okay it looks like you know the worst is over okay we have two tens here You're, these are major completions major major completions so any um negative thoughts or negative times or troubled times that you've been going through in august towards the end of the month it looks like they're over with okay it looks like the, it's peaceful um tranquil at ease um, towards the end of the month things start to get get um, more loving more caring you know what I mean it's just more more um, happiness you have a lot of happiness here and right here the at the end you have the ten of cups that is com that's like complete happiness in home at law at <laughs> I can't even speak complete happiness with love at home okay you're, you're just fulfilled at the end of the month you're happy any hard times that you are having are over okay here we have the devil this is a Capricorn this is about feeding your desires addictions obsessions it's also about manipulation um, and it's about control perhaps you release the need to the the need to control a situation and that's what brings you the happiness Okay, that's what I'm thinking because some difficult period in your life is over. And with the devil card right here, this is about feeding your addictions, which is, you know, um, it's a form of escapism, actually. But anyway, um, escape has been my word of the month, okay? So I don't know why I, I feel the need to say that so much, but I feel like you... Um, this devil card is here as an energy of 
that you need to let go of the need to control. And I think that's that's what you're doing. You're starting to maybe you're letting go you're not letting somebody control you anymore. Perhaps you're and that's bringing you happiness. That's what I think it is. I think that you you were feeling like you were controlled and you were being controlled and that um that that's over with now. Uh, that's over with now. I think it's the end of that situation where something had power over you. I think some something no longer has power over you. All right? Because you have complete happiness right here. And I think that happened because you made a choice that was right for you. You followed your intuition. You made a you had an unexpected choice, but instead of going somebody else's way, you went yours. Because there's been conflicts and bickering back and forth and I think you finally decide, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to do it my way. You know, and that caused you to gain some self-respect. And probably some respect from others, because in this card, the the guy's on the horse and he's going through a parade or whatnot or something like that, and he's being honored for what he's done. It's a, and he's feeling very respected. Okay, so you you gain some respect based on the decision that you made via your gut. Okay, you followed your gut. You didn't follow somebody else's path. Okay, and it took strength and willpower. Okay, you had an awakening. You decided, you know what, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what my heart and gut tells me what to do. You know, and it's an offer of love to somebody else because you did that. Perhaps you're offering love to somebody. Could be a child, could be a friend, could be, and it doesn't have to be sexual love. It could be emotional support. Okay. Because any any strife is now over, okay? Any strife is now over, and, and it brings you a lot of happiness to do this. Let's get some clarifiers here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that would be you. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Okay, so this is you in the reading telling you to keep focusing on what you want. Not what somebody else wants. Do not let somebody take your, your, your power or your control. Do not. Okay, so that's saying... You know, focus, focus, focus. All right. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. That's you. Five of Cups. Something's not turning out the way you'd hope. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilt milk. I think that something has been going on that has made you feel like unfulfilled. Something's been going on that has made you feel unfulfilled and you have been moping about it and not doing anything about it. But this lover's card is going gonna, is gonna to help you, I think. If something unexpected is going to come in to um, help you um, get over whatever it is that you're moping about. Okay? I think that the worst is over. I think your moping is just about done. Okay? Four of Pentacles. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. This is the Four of Pentacles. This is where the, the someone is resisting um, giving their either their financial support or their time to somebody. 
okay and if you don't and if you can't give your time or your emotion or your emotional support or your financial support to somebody any of them you know then where's the love because here's an offer of love here's an offer of love to somebody okay to somebody um, but this is resistance resistance to offer it resistance to offer some kind of support to somebody okay so why is that here are you resisting giving somebody some support is somebody asking you to borrow something and you're like no you know or is somebody asking for your time and you don't have time for them or I don't know what it is but um it looks like to me that this card is saying that you need to use your time wisely okay use your time wisely and if somebody give give if somebody needs your time give it to them if somebody needs your emotional support give it to them Perhaps you feel guilty. Perhaps you feel guilty for not um, giving support to somebody with this right here. This card can also mean depression and guilt. You know, perhaps you feel guilty for not giving somebody the support they need. Because maybe somebody else was telling you that you couldn't. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I see that you're going to make a choice. I see that you're going to make a choice that put, sends you in a different direction that you would normally go. All right. Here we have the Eight of Swords. An illusion of being tra trapped. A lack of self-confidence. Afraid to take action. An illusion of being trapped? Really? I believe it, don't you? Do you feel like you're trapped in this situation? Do you feel like you don't know what to do? Do you feel like if you do one thing, you're going to upset somebody? You know, but you really want to go one way. But if you do go that way, somebody's going to be very upset with you. Is that how you feel? This is crying over it, moping over it. Here you've been resisting it. But that's over now. That's over now. The end is here. Because maybe you want to offer love instead. Ace of Cups. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship with somebody. Doesn't have to be a sexual partner. Can be a child. Can be a mother. Can be a father. Can be anybody. Can be a sexual person. Whatever. It can be anybody in your life. A resurgence of a relationship could be with a child. Could be with anybody like I said. Ace of Cups. Spiritual growth and enhanced intuition. A new home. And this also means pay attention to your dreams, okay? Your dreams are, should be vivid at this time, okay? Pay attention to them. They're trying to tell you something. It's also the Ace, the ace of um, <coughs> Cups is a new emotion, okay? A new uh, gift of love to somebody, okay? We're going to get some of these angel romance cards for you and see if we can get anything out of these. It looks like happiness is at the end of August. I think you're going to be feeling very good about the decisions that you've made. So don't doubt them. Don't doubt your gut. Don't doubt your intuition. Do the right thing for you. Don't do the right thing for anybody but you. You're about to have an awakening, a breakthrough in your life, okay? And you're going to feel very proud of the decision that you made. And things are going to start moving forward. And I think that there's going to be less resistance. And there's going to be a resurgence of a relationship. And the worst is over. And happiness is at the end of the month. 
It is safe for you to love. Anybody. Anybody. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy in, of all. Love, love, love. It's safe for you to love. Whoever it is. If you know what I mean. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of shine. Of spirit of fun to shine. I'll let you run with that one. I'm going to give you something from my Vintage Wisdom deck. It's my new deck. I am going to have to read from the book because I don't have them all familiarized yet. Um, let's see what we have for you, Aries. What do you have for Aries? August 9th through the 31st. This is supposed to be a love reading. I... I I'm not quite sure if what kind of love it is, but I think it's love for, I don't know. I think it's a family member. I think it's a family member or a friend or could be a lover. Could be a lover and somebody's telling you not to. Somebody's telling you not to, um be loving to somebody and that's all there is to it or maybe they're they, maybe they're making you not love yourself I don't know you think you need to offer somebody some love maybe it's yourself Abundance. It flew out and flipped over. I'm going to read it to you in just a second here. Abundance. Maybe it's a passion that you love and somebody's telling you you can't follow your passion. Abundance. Here we see a depiction of Pomona, the Roman goddess of abundance and harvest of the ripe fruits and fields. She is adorned with all manner of wildflowers and forest flora, as if to celebrate the yield of nature's bounty. Butterflies dance around her, representing transformation in a lightness of being. We can all relate to the wonderful feelings of connectedness when abundance bestows herself upon us. It can be felt physically with the harvesting of material success or good health, mentally in fruition of an idea or a dream, emotionally by finding new love or spiritually through expansion of the soul. This card tells you to reflect on the abundance already in your possession. Be thankful for all that you have and be open to receiving more goodness in your life. It may be your turn to enjoy the fruits of your labors and the harvest of hard-earned efforts. Or, or perhaps you are currently looking for ways to increase the flow of abundance into your life. From a practical perspective, decluttering helps you value what you already have and creates an empty space so more abundance can follow. Forgiveness plays a vital role in detach. <laughs> we start over. Forgiveness plays a vital role in decluttering the emotions. By releasing the past, we liberate ourselves, freed from gravity of weighty karmic effects. We re we <laughs> we reconnect with the light, abundant flow of unconditional love. How wonderful! unconditional love that's what you need to offer to somebody gifting and tithing are known ways to increase the flow of prosperity like I said you need to give I knew it sorry I get excited when I'm right I'm always I mean I'm usually right now is a favorable time to establish a healthy balance between giving and receiving 
In this, material, in this materialistic age, it is common to mistake the measures of success and worth through the possession of money and status alone. There is nothing wrong with aspiring to have lovely things or to create the scrutiny and opportunities that money can buy. However, Western values generally encourage focus solely on the outward physical manifestation of abundance. We can be guided to find a healthy balance by focusing inwardly to discover spiritual riches, riches available to us in every moment. Our divine nature expands far beyond the horizons of the material plane alone. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. I've been saying that for years. And has the power to banish fear and grant authentic peace regardless of circumstance or status. I'll read that one again. Our divine nature expands far beyond the horizons of the material plane alone and has the power to banish fear and grant authentic peace regardless of circumstance or status. These are just some of the fruits and bounties to be discovered as we journey home along the highway of life in whatever form. May abundance and all its glory be yours. You got that card. I think it fits. Um, I'm going to let that one go. I will talk to you soon.